the hell is this place? Ah, I guess we have a boss fight. The past must be paid for. Well, I guess uh, the weakness is always the baby heads. I want to hit that thing so bad. Oh, no. He hit me. Fuck. I, I don't even know what the attacks are of this thing. Wait. I think I can hit him now. Sort of. This is fucked up. Beyond all belief. It's like, he's kind of in a weird corner here. Oh, I think I got his hand. The cost of forgetting is high. Oh, well, it looks like I got one of the hands. It looks like uh, I, I can't really attack them directly unless... Oh, they he revealed it. The hell? Need to leave. Oh, it's good bitch slap me. No. Oh, oh, I wonder if this is actually going on right now. So I'm kind of learning, like, not to actually engage it directly. And he's attacking his own stuff. This is weird as hell. No, no, no. Oh, what the hell? Oh, I think I'm supposed to go shrink for that mode. Nope, that's not it. Oh, whatever, I can fucking just do this. I'm not sure what I'm intended to do. Maybe I'm supposed to fucking stop him like right now. This is kind of unfortunate because now I have no health. Don't struggle, oh, I was supposed to attack it. Oh god. Not one of these things. Okay, it looks like it died. Is this thing gonna die? And it's dead. Okay, good, good stuff. Let me go get the health. And now both the hands. Oh, what the fuck? His heads. God damn it. Alright. I think I'm... I remember there was a boss fight in Mario 64 like this. Oh, what the hell. Alright. I think I got- I think I did good. No, no, no. What the hell. Just happened to me. Okay, let's try this again. As far as I can tell, I think I'm supposed to just dodge this until he does one of his attacks, which actually makes him vulnerable. <laughs> I 
Like, he's trying to grab me, which is kind of a little bit creepy considering I'm, I'm pretty sure he's like a pedo, so... Stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he has a ranged attack now. Fuck. Alright, let's try this again. I'm just gonna range him with this shit. There's only one more baby doll head on that thing. I'm... I'm kind of running out of thing here. There we go. Okay, we got it. Some half-wit bruiser will make you his sweetheart, and then you'll hang. Indeed. A hysterical woman, former lunatic, roaring outrageous accusations against a respectable social architect and scientist. My god, Alice, who would believe you? I scarcely believe it myself. You monstrous creature. Such evil will be punished. By whom? By what? Psychotic silly bitch. Your madness will be punished. Now leave. I'm expecting your replacement. Did we win? I can just walk normally now. This looks so nice now. I'm at very low health though. Ah, are we going in here now? Nope. I can't go home again. No surprise, really. Only a very few find the way, and most of them don't recognize it when they do. Delusions, too, die hard. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Forgetting pain is convenient. Remembering it, agonizing. But recovering the truth is worth the suffering. And our wonderland, though damaged, is safe in memory for now. Well, I finally made it to the end here. Uh, don't like it as much as I thought I would. I like the beginning. It was interesting. It was sort of refreshing. Oh my god. Fucking horrible port though. I, I thought it was okay, but it's like the stutters and weird graphical glitches and stuff like that. Uh, it was, it was really bad for that. And you know what? Um, you probably may have noticed this, but the minute I beat the boss there, um, uh, you, you probably noticed I spliced in some other footage. This is what happened basically, okay? Um, a fucking horrible fucking decision on their part. Okay, I basically was, I was under the impression that I was still fighting the boss. So I was kind of just jumping away from him because I didn't fucking know what he was gonna do next, okay? Spacebar skips cutscenes. Spacebar happens to also be the jump key. A terrible choice on their part, because basically what I did was I, I hit spacebar, um, 
at the moment to try and jump away from him. It skipped the part of, I don't even know what it is, I actually haven't seen it yet, I'm just gonna probably just find some footage of it on YouTube and splice it in. But, um, so yeah, he dies or something, like, I, I don't really know what happens there, but it skipped, and then it went on to the next cutscene where she's, like, waking up, and it, it saved right there, okay? And the way the saves work in this game is you can't go back. Uh, like, you would have to replay the entire game again to go and, like, as far, like, like there's no option, like, I'll show you in a minute, but, but um, there's no option to load a chapter. And this is actually freaking me out sometimes because I was worried that, like, something would happen to my recording or something. So, there's no hard saves, it's all based upon stupid-ass checkpoints, and I, I hate that so much. It makes it such a pain in the ass for me, but I'm glad I, I got through it without, like, major problems. Um... As for the plot, it's it's pretty good. Um, I didn't. I thought that it was actually one of the redeeming factors was is actually like a sort of refreshing plot, and um, I think they did a too much of a big reveal at the very end. Um, I think they should just drop more hints along the way because there was so much. Um, There's so much right at the end that was just kind of explained outright, and it's kind of like the, the plot itself is actually like. I don't know, like only like a, like it can be explained in about like a minute or two. And I, I don't think that's necessarily very, uh, a very good, well thought out process of it. it. It was kind of, it seemed kind of rushed at the end. It's like, okay, we need to reveal everything now kind of thing. I do have to say though, the last three areas, uh, starting with uh, China and then like, uh, and then the dollhouse, especially like those are the two more notable examples. Whole shit ton of copying and pasting. And they were really, they were really kind of boring to to play out because they were like um, reusing assets constantly. And the puzzles and fights were not that creative, or it wasn't that difficult because I was dying a lot more at the beginning than I was at the end, which was kind of weird. And obviously, I now realize I did uh, skip a Paula room at some point, um, which is probably one of the areas that locked me out of simply because it was like a, it was. Just, it, I, I hate to say it, it was just terribly designed for that reason. Um, that it would they would trap you somewhere uh without having being able to explore and that's a no-no for platformers in my opinion it should be very clearly defined when i'm going into an area that i will not come back from and they didn't really give you that at all um so the porting job was actually pretty bad i they that the funny part was they they actually left those those controller things uh, controller scheme buttons in and for me like it said press x and it was actually c for me so it was pretty fucking lazy, if you ask me. Um, I don't know. I'm more disappointed with this than I actually thought I would be by the end of this, because you know it had a really strong beginning, in my opinion. Like it was just, it was really solid. Like even though some people were saying that the um, the ocean part was kind of meh, uh, where like you were under the sea, I I liked the fact it 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 built up to something that was actually really really cool. And really kind of demented and, and sick and all that. Like, that, that. That was kind of the cool part of that one. So I kind of forgave that one. And then I gave up near the beginning of China. I think, or no, no, I didn't. I gave up in the the uh, the castle place. Yeah, then I don't know. Um, I didn't, It you know, as I said, it, the, the castle place was kind of cool. And then that's where I stopped. And then I'm like, okay, I got to LP this for everyone. And and so I really want to share it. And so I, when I actually did, and I actually got to like the dollhouse, the doll, the hall, I don't know, I think China wasn't as bad as the dollhouse place. The dollhouse place was just fucking boring to me. I was really kind of struggling to to continue there. Like I was kind of just forcing myself to play through it at that point. That's usually not a good sign. Um, I don't know, yeah, I'd either write. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I did finish it. And uh, would I play this again? Probably not. I think I've pretty much done it to the point. Like, you know, as I said, um, you know, I, I did mention that uh, I was thinking of doing a Mario Galaxy run through and that one I, I don't mind replaying because that one's, that one's fresh. I feel that that one's more fresh and unique and they do, like, even though like uh, Mario games are usually infamous for their copying and pasting, you know, they, they add something new every time and something unique and you kind of go, oh, that's kind of neat kind of thing. But this one kind of just like, it just fell flat after a while. And um, I don't blame American McGee for this. It's an electronics art game, uh, electronic arts game, which I, I actually don't do them anymore. Uh, I talked about this earlier because of, of origin and all that kind of crap. I, 
and I usually get pretty low quality from them. As I said, this is this is I thought was a rare exception. As I said, I'm playing this on I'm playing the Steam version of this, um, so I didn't I didn't go install Origin for this. I'm sorry, it's it's I don't I I don't think this is great. I think it's I think it's average. I think it's mediocre. Uh, it has a good beginning and bad, and so it, it just kind of is like kind of. It, like a, a on a, it's like average kind of thing, you know. The average is out. Eh, I don't know. But uh, I, I, as I said, I think that was more EA's fault, not really American McGee. It, it has um, sparked my interest, sort of, in trying the first uh, Alice, because that that seems kind of interesting. Uh, that would be interesting to try. And and it's like, it, it's you know, the the mechanics kind of just. Uh, they're they're, they're kind of nice, but they didn't do nearly enough of the puzzles. And I, once again, I, I think that was really a limitation of the Unreal Engine because fucking that that stupid ass doll head game was really like I talked about it. It was like really stupid when I was playing it, and it just feels so clunky. And it's just kind of like they they were thinking of something, and then they said, "Oh, that's good enough," and they they left it to the end. Like they they they, they started off with their strongest parts, and then just kind of ended off with their weakest, uh, and just kind of now left a bad taste in my mouth. And it's just just certain things. It's just like you you would never do if you, you know, properly wanted to make a good release. Which is like the the whole space bar to skip cutscenes. Like oh god, how many times did I skip shit? Uh, like and you know you can't help it. It's like you're 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 in the middle of a a boss fight or whatever, and then you're you're trying to jump away because it's like oh shit, what's he gonna do next? Because it was like as I said, first run blind. I, I didn't know I was actually gonna beat him. Um, and then it's like well. Congratulations! You just skipped the cutscene. Not only that, uh, we're gonna go and fucking <laughs> uh, we're gonna save it during the next part. So I can't even. I can't even. Like I tried to quit immediately when I noticed I had done that, and it had already saved. And I'm just like, oh god, it's it's done. Um, you know, now that I think about it, the control layout was really awkward. Like caps lock actually locked onto stuff, um, which is weird. And WASD and the mouse and stuff like that. And you know what? It wasn't even that hard of a platforming game. Like it was just, it was, it was really dead easy for a platforming game. Uh, like it's just you go from platform to platform, platform. There's no penalty for death. It's not even that special, actually. Like well, this was like what 2011 or something. It wasn't like uh, uh, you know, I hate to bring up Mario Galaxy game, but wasn't that out of range? Because that one, that one was actually honestly the epitome of like, well, epitome now, well, like the one of the best like. Uh, pl platform or 3D platformers ever played, like it's 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 so close to Mario 64 uh, to me, and and it really does hold like a, a kind of like a special place in my heart. I fucking love it, um, and so that's what I mean. It's like it, it's you know, and and I, I guess I guess most of this game is is centered around that that the plot and the the whole demented worlds and things like that. But as I said. You know, it it was fucked up in some places, but other places it was just lazy, and it just it wasn't strong all the way through, which was my problem. So I don't know. It, it could have been done a much much better job. And also, apparently, the guy was planning on making an Alice three, but unfortunately, EA wouldn't make it unless there was an interest. So he was trying to get uh, interest for it, and I don't think he got enough interest for it, so he can't do it. But I I don't see why he can't just do it on his own, like with like a Kickstarter campaign or something, because, uh, you know, Alice in Wonderland is not exactly uh, it, like EA doesn't own any trademarks or copyrights on this. Like the 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 most they could probably argue is that he's copying something. You could take another fucking child. You could take Winnie the Pooh and go make that demented. Like oh, you see, like I don't know. Fucking Eeyore eating piglet's head. I would fucking love that. No, I don't know. You, you could do... Well, actually, I think that's owned by somebody, so I guess not. I, I can't think of another fairy tale uh, right offhand that he could just fuck up. But, you know, he could easily just go make a, uh, something else and uh, over, like, Kickstarter and actually have the time. Because I feel if, if he actually did team up with EA and make something, it would actually be a detriment more than, more than helping him out. And, you know... As I said, this didn't leave me off with a good experience here. So if they did actually make an Alice Three, I don't think I'd buy it. Not 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 if EA was involved. Um, it was it was disappointing to say the least. Like it, even the conclusion was kind of like, you know, it was nice to have everything wrap up, but even then, and it's like no music, and it's like there's so many glitches. I don't even understand. Like how it was not. 
thoroughly tested, I think. Like I had to even modify it somewhat. In, like when you have to do any hacks in order to make it run better, like you see, they, not a good job at all. And I don't know why I thought, like at the very beginning, I, I thought it was okay because it clearly was not uh, all throughout. But it's strange. I don't know. At any rate, I'm I'm I am glad I took this. I I, took, I did this and I took it off my list of things I want to do and. Um, yeah, uh, there you go, 2011, when this game came out, so just two years ago. And even, like, if if you're looking at this text, this text is, like, horribly scrolling to the, the left. It's it's not even, like, even the credits kind of suck. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, so, you know, as I said, um, you know, you can, you, can, you can get this if you really liked it, but I, I don't see anybody playing this past the first time and I mean you've already watched it so uh, it's really not an engaging platformer in the slightest oh, I can do a new game plus I'm guessing you just start with the weapons that you originally had but and which means what's the point it's not like a like new game plus makes sense for like a uh, an art from an RPG standpoint or something like that because and like you know from this? No, this is not even an RPG. Like, what the hell are you doing? You're just playing the game for no reason. Oh, let's go take a look at this stuff. Oh, these are just the memories. So, I guess I really didn't get them all. I got all these, the pen ones. We've already listened to them all during the game. Alright, what's extra content? So, we can go look at characters. Oh, so these are like, we haven't actually... I'll just scroll through these slowly. Uh, so you can go take a look at any of these. I guess this is what the bottles unlocked. Or maybe it's just what everything unlocks. Who knows? It's kind of interesting all the same. There's a lot of characters in this game, though. The Mad Hatter. You know, as I said, it's, it seems like such a rich and creative universe, but... I think they did a lot less with it than they probably could have. There's a lot of shit here. Wow, okay. I'd feel bad if I didn't show you all this, but you know, it's like, wait, it's, we're, we're only in chapter two. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Fish couple. Even like the, the, the littlest things they did a, a thing of. That's crazy. The mute. Sam oh yeah, samurai. The samurai guys were, I never quite understood how to dodge their attacks at all. And uh, you know, I'm starting to look at these, and there's like characters I don't even fucking recognize. Dr. Wilson, oh, doc they were the people inside the... Oh, the doll maker is literally him. Wow. Yeah, look at this. I didn't fucking recognize that thing at the end there. Apparently I missed four things of creatures. Oh, I think I get to see the very end boss there. I think this is like all the fucking... Uh, cutscenes and shit, I yeah. Know, I yeah. Those are really good cutscenes, those, those are well made, I do have to say. Now here's some concept art. I'll just scroll through that real quick. You know, this has to be interesting, because it's like... It's it's a whole demented world, right? So... I, I really like the... whoops. I really like the story behind it. But, uh... And the environment. The environment is what really sold me. Let's actually look at what the... the well, what? I guess... Well, how did I not get this all? Okay, apparently I only unlocked chapter 1 and 2. I don't know what the fuck happened here. How did I get none of these? Sorry, I, I would have wanted to see the concept art for that place, but I guess I really can't. And yeah, you can see... Well, I can check... I, what? There is a chapter select. Okay, I guess I just unlocked then. Well then. I guess I was wrong about what I was saying earlier. I could have sworn that wasn't here before. It just said continue. Oh well. Well, that's, uh, that's it, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully it wasn't too problematic, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for what I do next time. Bye.